Hi. Let's talk about Robert Frost's deceptively simple little nine-line poem, Fire and Ice. Um, it contains only very um, easily uh, pictured and understood even household objects, and yet it contains an obviously very deep and human meaning. How does he start? Uh, some people say the world will end in fire, some in ice. But from what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Okay, and just the first four lines, he's talked about what? The end of the world, that the world might end in another great ice age coming down to uh, crush the land and, cru and crush the cities with glaciers. Or it could end in some huge holocaust, even a, uh, a nuclear war, so, uh, something like that. Uh, the last, uh, the last days, and uh, fire consuming the fire consuming the earth. Uh, the end of the world could be either thing, fire or ice. But then he seems to have taken a little subtle turn in the meaning of the poem when he says, "But from what I've tasted of." desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Wait a minute, is he talking about the end of the world here, or is he talking about just uh, some human emotion, a fire and uh, human passion that uh, gets too hot and even destructive? But then he finishes uh, when he says, but for destruction, ice is also great and will suffice, will be enough. In other words, that even though fire and passion have their destructive qual uh, qualities, ice, coldness, indifference is of even a greater destruction, destructive quality than consuming hatred. Something, something like that. He's never, he never tells us exactly what he's getting at. He just gives us the, the plain, the ordinary uh, examples of fire versus ice. But we know, we know that there's something down there at the bottom of every one of those simple little Robert Frost poems. Right? Okay. Thank you.